Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Welcome back, this is episode 2. And the last time we played, we fought the fire boss. And this time we're going for the illusion one in the second door, so we can get into Helheim. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, click on the card above. I'm going to put that right up there for you go to go and find out what the first video is all about. Uh, if you guys are back for the other one, welcome back, and let's get into it. Alright, we're back. We got that big door we gotta get through. Although, we don't have the illusion boss, so we're gonna have to turn ourselves around and go through this door. We opened it last time in the last video. Let's go see what we got to go fight. This is gonna be scary. It's the illusion boss, so I'm sure there's gonna be some hallucinations and stuff like that. Oh, look, there's a tablet, but it's on a piece of wood. We gotta look for all these. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The Old Father. Interesting. Alright, so we have four more of those, um, those tablets we gotta find kind of dark in this area. I really like all the detail. Oh, there's a door. It's got one of those symbols on it. Are we going to have to do a sacrifice like the other one? hides the path to Balravn. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. You got little arches over there. What's this arch all about? Look, look, look. Something looks different. Things change. Different. Can you see? <laughs> Interesting. The door's open. Ah, okay. So we gotta go through those portals and it changes. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? we do we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there up the ladder always a ladder I didn't look around too much. Hopefully I didn't miss a tablet. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it. 
see you too. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Illusion enemies. They look the same though. Got him. So last time in the last video, I saw that the Northmen will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. I saw that gold, um, I guess amulet or whatever on her hip. I thought that was her health bar, but it's definitely not. That's uh, it's like charging up her sight. So once that fills up, it's like a charge meter or something. Makes everything slow motion. I have to use that on the boss next time. Got any tablets around here? I think we can climb up that. Oh, yeah, we got a Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Align the ravens. Oh, look at that. So this is a portal as well. Oh, okay. We gotta align those. Maybe we gotta get up top. I have a feeling that I missed one of those tablets. I hope I didn't. Line it up. Focus. First try. Something's shifted. Something's happened. Something shifted. Can you feel it? Oh, I feel it. That door unlocked. That's what happened. I wonder if those tablets will be hidden behind those portals. Do you feel it too? It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching. It's pretty crazy that it shows like different personalities that she has. It's like the nice one, the evil one, all the differences. Oh, there's some more of those hanging ravens. I think those are bones. I think I gotta go to the other side. It looks like I gotta get on that platform. Which ravens? Where are they? Can't you see them? <laughs> so how do we get on the platform? And there's a portal right there. The ravens. Before I oh, there's another portal. I think it's growling. I'm looking for a tablet first. 
If you hear the song of Van Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Okay, so maybe we gotta go through that portal back there to open that door. I ain't seeing no tablets around here. Oh, there's a hole here. Did the door open over that way from this? No, the door's still closed. Alright, let's head this way. What is that? Silence me. Is that the illusion boss? Valravin? Alright, Moe Trucker. Oh, it's like he's a scarecrow. I'm going through the portal yet. Oh, it looks like that wall opens up if I go this way. All the illusions. He's over there again. Across the bridge. Fight me. He ain't real. Just a scarecrow. Is she lost? Wouldn't be the first time. Last winter, before the tragedy. She journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gelt. Some, like truth, become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the badger curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. Oh, there's a tablet up there. How do I get up there? Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to get up there. Another ladder. Before I go over to that guy and up that ladder, I still wanna see. Can I get up to the tablet? Let's get up the ladder. Oh no, wait, we got stairs right here. Cross that. Oh, there's no bridge here. Okay. Maybe when I go up the ladder, there's another portal to change everything. Yeah, right up there. Maybe that'll do it. I'm coming up. Does that make a bridge? She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can, she can get up. Now. Must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Valraven. Tricking her. Valraven. How can she get up? Oh. Wait. Okay. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. Valraven's no 
since I opened it's those doors. Him. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Okay, so I open this door. Maybe I can use this portal back here to switch it back. And then just go through the door. Let's see. So if I go this way, is there a bridge now? There is. Yeah. Now that door is open, we can go up the stairs and go right over to that. Hopefully I didn't miss one before. We'll find out. Should tell us on there which one we unlocked. It's kind of cool how the illusions are. Oh, you got to go through the portals and switch stuff like that. It's M. Nope, we didn't miss one. Good. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Use his whole body. Okay, now we just go down, go through the door, and go up there and match the, the symbol and get through that other door. Alright, so we didn't miss one, so we're on track. Good stuff. Looks like those stairs are there. Go underneath, go up here, and match that symbol. Get that door unlocked. Go we'll fight the illusion guy. There we go. Easy peasy. I wonder what the other areas are going to be like. What other illusions this guy is going to put on us? The fight should be interesting. We picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. has to find another route. Truth says there's always another route. Find the ways, go round. Find your own path. It's a different way. There's always another path. Oh, there's gonna be a fight here. I can smell it. Yep. Ooh. Let's take out this guy first. Nope. Mega. Voices are sure helpful. Remember the warrior. Knock his shield out of the way. There we go. Maybe we gotta do a quick attack. Alright, let's take this guy out first.
I gotta kill this guy first. Leave me alone, bro. There we go. Got him. And another one. Here we go. Use the special ability on this guy. End it. End it now. This is nearly the end. We got it. Okay, it looks like there's an opening over here. Aha. Another tablet. And this is the next one. Nice. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. He fell. Now this guy didn't he didn't fare very well out here. Trying to make some soup. Got blasted. Alright, we got two more tablets. Those guys are just hanging out, huh? Let's get moving. What other illusions do you have for us? Anything up here? Before we drop down. Doesn't look like I can go back there. Alright, let's go. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? I know what does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. I don't know what this portal does. And look how many of those hanging ravens there are. There's all different ones in this one. A bunch of those illusion scarecrows. I think this puzzle is going to be a little bit more complicated. Getting a little blurry around here. Got a bridge we got to push down, it looks like. The bridge that needs to probably appear there. I think I hear him again. Where are you at, God of Illusion? Oh, is this another portal right here? It's a big one. And it's pointing to look through this way. What does it change? I don't think it's going to change anything yet. I think we got to get to the door first. I think that's what it is. Any tablets? I'm hunting you down. I'll find every one of you. There's probably one up there. This bridge. Go check up here real quick before we start it. I think this might just go into a circle. 
And then that scarecrow is pointing towards that. That wall over there. Okay, I'm not seeing any of the tablets. Let's get this started. Can I drop down here? I sure can. A different color now. Let's go activate the door. the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd she be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But she didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Alright, we made it up to one. Oh, I see what's going on. When we go through the portals, it's going to narrow it down. It's going to take a lot of these away. And once we go through to both of them, it's probably going to leave just the right ones we need. The ah. Ravens, the ravens. They've gone. They've gone. No, half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. And oh, Ravens helping? No. He's not helping. It's tricky. Quiet. Quiet. Out in the wild. In the cold winter woods. Where they going? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. Almost. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become. Now we got a bridge. And we gotta get over to the other illusion boss. I keep forgetting his name. Ravhaven or something? Ravhaven? Okay. <laughs> Another bridge to push down. Yeah, I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, okay. Let's go over here real quick. Any tablets nearby? Alright, let's go through the portal. And that's going to open that up. We just crossed the bridge again. To get us closer to Mr. Illusion, a witch. Should probably open this door. Always make sure you get another way back. Nothing that way. 
We got some stairs over here. Ooh, tablet. We're going straight to the tablet. And then this one is... Yep, that's the F one. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. So that's why Odin has one eye. All right, we got one more tablet left. Making good progress. Let's see if we can get to this other portal and get rid of the rest of those hanging ravens. Uh oh. How are we supposed to cross that? I must have missed something. Maybe it's the portal on the other side over there. Something's not working here. I didn't think it was going to be that simple. There's another portal on the left. Ah, uh, or we may have to go back through this portal here. That's what it is. Because that opened this wall. Yeah. We got to go back through the portal and since we opened that door. All right. Close it off. Now we got a walkway. And go through the door and go back up. I know you guys watching probably already saw that before I did. Here we go. There we go. We're right to that portal. I should half the rest of them. And they're gone. The ravens. They will go. No. There's three. There's three. There's three. Where have they gone? They gone. She did it. What does that mean? She's Looking back. I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow. The smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought. Grow in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. There we go. Valoraven. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. At her weakest, will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? We got one more tablet, and it looks like Val Raven is right up there. Val Raven. Gotta keep saying it. Oh, Val Raven. This looks like a fight in here. We got another fight. There's gotta be another tablet too. We got one left. Before we activate that door, let's go up here. We got a portal up top. Got some stairs. This goes up here. Looks like it stops though. Maybe we gotta go through that portal first. However we get up there. 
How do we get up there to the portal? And I think we can cross through here. Yep, and we got a ladder. Now uh, look at that. Where are you at, tablet? I'm sniffing you out. I know you're here somewhere. There's the portal. I know that works until we activate the door. All right, I don't see no tablet yet. Let's go activate the door. We'll come back up the ladder. That should open up that other walkway. Then we will fight Val Raven. This crazy illusions. Overcome Val Raven's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Ah, okay. They put a tree Speak over there. To me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findon. The Northman captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth, the man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, I've found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. So that's his story. That's pretty cool. Where's this tablet? Careful now. Don't want to fall before we have to fight the guy. Val Raven. Oh. That was close. We got it. Oh. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. That's not good. Are you still here? Are you too? Where are we? I remember. didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper 
deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. But there, in the darkness, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it, for it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you. I see you now. You led me to the wilds. You trapped me there. It's fighting time. I got you, come on. What's he doing now? Oh, he's sending his minions. man Ooh, those are different oh okay careful focus attack okay we can block those Ooh. oh no Get him. This guy's a little harder than the other one. Come on. Come on, Sandy, you got this. Remember your training. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. She's beating her. She's beating him. She's nearly there. She's strong. Where'd he go? His minions. I gotta make sure that I have those uh, those power-ups on my side. I think that is life and the power-ups. Oh. Cool. Be careful. Patience. Alright. 
We almost got him. Go, Senua. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. Tell me the tablets in there. We're one tablet away. All right, come on. Tablet, are you here? Oh man, this is back where we were. We missed the tablet somewhere. All right, one sec. Okay, so I just learned that the other lore stones, the tablets we were talking about, apparently they you can find them in different orders and it won't tell you like uh, what letter you were supposed to have before then. So I'm gonna when see. She was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And then she saw them elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. The trees, the mountains, the caves. So I'm gonna go back through here and see if we can spot it on the way. Because apparently there's one that I missed. That makes it a little bit more difficult to find out. I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them. Alright everyone, I managed to find the last one. It was, uh, you go through this area where we see this fort. Where we had to like open the wall and come back. And then we had this portal before that I was trying to figure out what it did. If we take a right, you turn around and you go right over here from the entrance. It was hidden right in front of us. Here it is. The Northmen say that Odin has two ravens. Their names are thought and memory. And each day he sends them out to fly all across the world. Upon their return, they perch on his shoulders and tell him everything they have seen and heard. In this way, he learns of things far and wide, and for this reason, he is called the Raven God. Senua, 
Like Odin, you must seek wisdom through thought and memory, if you are to succeed in your quest. All right, there we go. I also found this on the way back that we missed as well. Senua, you have a sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. So her mother was a priestess, and then she got the powers from her mother, so it was hereditary. Interesting. She's got the sight. She got that ESPN. She gets a couple channels. And then when she sees the dead, the dead see her. All right, let's go to this door. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Sirt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. All right, everyone. That was episode two. We fought Val Raven and whooped him. Uh, that one was really hard. I almost got killed a couple times on that. But we learned some stuff, did some puzzles, and found all the lore stones, which was pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed this content, leave a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, hit that like button so I can get more people to see these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.